What's up guys? So I hope everybody out there in YouTube land is doing good. So this is the only place I'm going to release this is on my YouTube channel. But anyway, um, you seen where Mandy was learning how to like back the truck of the trailer, drive the truck with the trailer. If you don't, just go down and watch that video. I put it out about a week or so ago. Anyway, I have been up to something else. So we're going to go through and I'm going to show you what I have been up to here lately. So as most of you know, we did move into a new house, but it's a smaller house because we're doing a bigger garage, smaller house, bigger garage for toys. So anyway, I had a idea because iPhone Tim had these um, throws that somebody had made him years ago and they were just kind of falling apart or whatever, but they were done out of Harley Davidson t-shirts. So I had this great idea to take those throws and take them apart and use the t-shirt parts of them off of them for, uh, to make something because as most people don't know, um, Mandy was pretty much raised by her grandparents. So I learned a lot of stuff off of my grandmother, which was raised during the depression. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna get this video started and I'm gonna flip it around and we're gonna see what all I used for this project. All right guys, so a couple of things I needed for this project to make something new for the house was some Elber spray adhesive, okay, to hold stuff in place until I could sew it. So yes, Mandy can sew. Um, I didn't wanna sew this by hand, so I bought a sewing machine and I thought you know what they charge me I do patches on my chaps right if you've seen the video of me um doing the um rolling the chaps and folding them um go down and watch that video but anyway I bought this sewing machine for like 150 bucks because they charge me like 160 every time I take like a whole bag full of chaps and I have them sewed on or a whole bag full of patches and I have them sewed on my chaps so I thought, well, I'm getting me a vest, so I want to sew some on there. So I'm just going to do it myself from now on. But anyway, for this project, I bought a sewing machine, okay? And then I also needed this. So let's go check out and see what Mandy made. All right, guys, before I show you exactly what I made, so the little throws that Tim had, whoever made them, so when they do it, they didn't cut like the stuff straight, like the t-shirt patches or the, the parts off of the t-shirt because it was made out of, it was like a Harley Davidson throw, okay? So I had to take the pieces off of the throw to make this new um, thing, okay? But anyway, it was a little hard and a little strategic because I had to kind of do the um, sewing on it in kind of zigzags in a way. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go see what I made. All right, guys. So here's what I made. So I thought, you know what? Everybody makes throws and stuff. And since the house is new and I'm going to have to buy curtains, I'm going to make my own curtains. So anyway, I took the t-shirt pieces off of the two throws. And I wish I would have took a picture of them, but I honestly didn't know if I was even going to be able to do this because they were so like cut uneven um but i anyway i made it work but i took the pack the the t-shirt pieces off of the throws and i made my own set of curtains and i attached them to those curtains anyway some of these like ones are from like 1996 and 1997 because they're like older where tim bought his first harley davidson was in 1999 and that's the heritage that we brought, we purchased back because we tracked it down and purchased back. So now we have all five of our original Harleys that we bought. So I took these patches, or I keep saying patches, I took these t-shirt pieces off and I made my own curtains. But as you can see, I kind of had to zigzag in places in order to get them sewed on because nothing was cut even. So there were a couple places I would kind of have to zigzag to get it to hold. So you can see like right there. So the lines are not straight exactly. Um, the, when I do it next time, I just wanted to use this for a test piece to even see if I was gonna be able to do it. So when I make my next set, I will make sure everything is cut. I just used already 
pre-cut shirts that he had, somebody had cut years ago and made old throws out of. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all because I thought it was turned out pretty cool. Um, as you can see, there's some old ones like the Smoky Mountain and then there's also like Revelation Choppers and then he just had some old cool and I just took and put the patches. Why do I keep saying patches? T-shirt pieces <laughs> all over the the curtains that I made. So anyway, this one's Harley Davidson of West Virginia. That's an older shirt. And then there's just some that was cut like off the front of shirts. And I just, and I meant to do this sideways like this. I meant for that to turn out. So I just kind of tilted them sideways like that. And I just made it. So anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. I think they did turn out pretty good. Um, so yeah, now you all know. That Mandy is pretty crafty. All right, guys, so that's all I have. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, normally I just do like outside motorcycle content, but I thought, you know what, this is my channel, so I'll just go ahead and share. Um, this is the only place I'm really gonna put this. I won't put it on Facebook or anything. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit the thumbs up, go down and subscribe. Um, and watch what Mandy gets into next because you never know, you know, I'm kind of crafty. Learn how to drive a truck and a trailer. You can go watch that video. Um, doing the how to roll your chaps. Go down and watch that video that I made for Mama Badger. So anyway, I will catch you later, guys. And remember, you only live once. So get out there and live fast and ride hard. And peace out, guys.